So guys, I wanted to go over a video today on how to run my central air conditioning on a generator. And the generator that I'm gonna be using today is gonna be a Briggs & Stratton storm responder. And it has about 6,200 running watts and 8,250 surge or starting watts. The air conditioner in question is a three-ton central air conditioning unit. Um, there's a condenser fan, there's a compressor, and there's the indoor blower. And so what I went ahead and did was I took some measurements before I started. And the only way that this is possible using this small of a generator is because I'm using a hyper-engineering soft start device. And what that device does is take the um, inrush current and it reduces it. And the typical inrush current on my particular AC was around 72 amps. Um, so if you took 72 amps and you times that by 240 volts, I, at ballpark I want to say that's 18,000 watts, I could be off. But you would see I would need 18,000 watts of starting watts of a generator to start that if I didn't use a soft start device. That means I would need like a 15,000 watt generator to run the central air. And typically that's what people do. They go out and they buy the largest generator they can find because they want to run their central air. But in reality, you don't have to do that. The soft start device is about $250. Uh, and that gets installed inside of your central air conditioning unit outside, um, right next to where the capacitor and uh, where the electric comes into the unit outside. But what that does is that reduced my particular starting amp down to 17 amps. So imagine going from 73 amps to 17 amps. So 17 amps times 240 volts is now a little over 4,000 starting watts I need out of a generator. So this particular generator has 8,250 starting watts, which is more than enough to start the unit. Now, what we want to see is if it has enough running watts to run the unit. So, inside the unit, there's a fan that keeps the um, compressor cool, and it draws um, the heat out of the condenser. So, with the condenser fan running and the compressor running after it starts, after the initial start, Mine runs at about 11.1 .1 amps. So 11.1 .1 amps times 240 volts gives me about 206, I'm sorry, 2,664 running watts that's needed. But I also have to factor in the indoor blower <clears throat> because inside the house there's a, a squirrel cage blower that pumps air through um, the vents. So that uh, particular blower, there's a motor in there, and it needs 15 amps on startup, but it only runs 120 volts, so it needs about 1,800 watts on startup. Now, 1,800 watts is less than 4,000 watts, so we're going to use, for the calculations, we're going to use the higher, the highest device starting watts, which is the compressor, not the indoor fan. But nonetheless, once the fan gets running, it uses about 5 amps at 120 volts, which comes to about 600 watts once it's up and running. So what I did was I took the 2664, I added the 600, and I got 3264 is the required running amps to run my entire HVAC unit. However, uh, it also needs 4,000 starting watts. So when you take the starting and the running, and the way they recommend it is to add this to your running to get the rating you would need to actually um, start and run whatever you're trying to run. In my case, it's the central air. So if you calculate that out, I would need about 7,300 starting or surge watts out of a generator. So if I were able to find the generator, that could come in at around 3,500 running watts, but then surge to about 7,500 watts, I would have a generator that can run the air conditioning unit. The problem with that is, is you don't want to run generators at 100% capacity. Uh, you can, some of the older generators are made for 
running 24 seven that way. But a lot of these cheaper Chinese made generators, you really don't want to load them up past 75% um, for a long period of time. And even at 75%, you're probably pushing your luck. So you can kind of see, yeah, technically a 3,500 um, watt running, and if it surged to 7,500 watts, it would work, but I wouldn't want to run that for hours at a time. So um, my particular unit is 6,200 running and 8,250 starting. So it clearly will run this. And um, it probably, and we're going to see because the my generator has the percentage, it has two um, almost built-in clamp meters that tell you the percentage of electric that it's using. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get it connected up to my transfer panel and then we're gonna, I'm going to shut all the circuits off but the central air and the indoor fan uh, motor, motor here. And um, another reason to possibly get a slightly larger generator is because you're going to want to run other things other than the central air. For instance, you might want to run a few lights, you might want to run the TV, and those generally don't take much, especially if you have uh, LED lights or LCD lights. Those don't take much, and, and the modern TVs, you know, they're probably only using around 100 to 200 watts themselves, but the point is is of this is you probably don't need much more than this if you do load management and what i mean by load management is you just really want to turn on what you need when you have a power outage and you don't want to turn on the entire house because you will overload a generator like this uh, that is where those bigger generators you know if i bought a 15,000 watt generator or larger probably wouldn't need to worry about what i turned on and turn off however they go through the fuel a lot faster than one of these units so um, we'll go ahead and set everything up and we'll come back. So what I'm gonna do now that the generator started is I'm gonna come over, it's very dark in here, I apologize. But I'm gonna come over and shut off all the breakers and then turn on the transfer switch. And then we'll go outside to the air conditioner and plug the uh, knife blade switch back in and the air conditioner should start up and then we'll see how much wattage it's using. Okay, so I went in with just a blower fan on and it said 19%. I know that's about 600 watts, so that meter may uh, be off a little bit on the um, Briggs and Stratton generator. We'll have to verify that later. But I'm gonna go ahead and plug the knife uh, breaker right back in. And then we're gonna go back. Well, first off, it should start. You're gonna hear the fan kick on first and then about a second later, the compressor will kick on. And then we're gonna get out and look at the generator again. Easily started that. Had no issues starting that whatsoever. Now let's go take a look at the generator. saw 61% so we're using 61% of the generators capacity and the generator I'm sorry the air conditioner is running fine so don't let anyone tell you that you can't start a central air conditioner with a smaller generator you absolutely can do it provided you have a soft start and you take measurements of your um, air conditioner, your inrush. So um, what I'm trying to say is if you have a three ton or even a four ton unit, um, look into these devices. There's two primarily ones that I know work out there. One is the hyper engineering soft start and the other is the micro air. I use the micro air on my RV, which is 120 volt AC. 
and I just wanted to try the hyper engineering on my uh, central AC and getting about 70% or better reduction in the inrush current on, on both of them. So the devices definitely work and this would be so useful if you were in a storm or had a storm damage, you had a hurricane come through something like that and your power was out. And a lot of people have those 5,000 watt generators. You see them everywhere on um, Craigslist or uh, Facebook Marketplace. You can find one of those generators. As a matter of fact, um, you could probably find them for anywhere from you know 50 to 100 bucks that they might need some carburetor work, or you can you know find them for you know 500, 600 dollars, 400 dollars, and they run fine. Um, you want to just keep your eye on that surge or that starting watts. That's important. Try to find one that has the highest starting watts you can find um, with a base of you know like in my case, if I needed that 3,500 running watts. I want to make sure I find like at least a 5,000 watt running generator because you want that little bit of buffer in there. You don't want to run these generators at 100% capacity.